Thank you so much for doing this. Yes, thank you. Welcome again to Portugal. Thank you. What do you think about Lisbon? What do you think about the weather, which is not amazing, but... I think uh, Portugal is a beautiful country. Lisbon being one of the most beautiful cities. I think the people, the energy, the food, um, everything is so beautiful. And there's so much culture and history here, which is so cool. Um, it's always so much fun to come and also sports of course yes and there's um what's great with portugal is how it's become the surfing mecca of europe if not the world for big wave surfing and surfing in general and i love that um everyone is so pumped on surfing and and loves the sport and the lifestyle and it's pretty interesting where lisbon is is pretty close to some really world-class surf beaches which for being in a major city um, is pretty rare. Absolutely, and uh, you are not a new face at Web Summit at all. No. You've been uh, to this event uh, also in Berlin, uh, in Dublin, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. Um, the first question that I wanted to do with you about sports is how do you think technology is changing sports? I think uh, technology is totally changing sports. I think from the more uh, extreme sports. It's giving a platform, whether it be surfing, skateboarding, snowboarding, um, rock climbing, mountain biking, all these sports that don't necessarily get big attention. I think it's been a great avenue to people to explore, to find the personalities, to follow the sport more and more. I think from even a league sport, a league sport standpoint, is um you know what's interesting is all they're doing with the analytics and data of uh you know whether it be in baseball the plays or in soccer um you know even being able to slow-mo recap watch things for calls th th that was not a thing years ago so um really it's just helping and also pushing people to a way higher level than ever before and to become aware of um, a lot of things that, that are happening in the world right now how do you think that communication and special for you that are you are an influencer on the web how do you think that communication has changed with the these these new channels and this boost of technology through through the web yeah i mean i think the communication can be non-stop if you want that. I think what's interesting now, if you really want to get in touch with your friends or family, is, uh, you know, you can contact them about five different ways. You can call them, which is very rare. You can text them. You can WhatsApp them. You can Facebook message them. You can Instagram DM them. You can email them. And um, Snapchat, you can even tweet at them. You can, do, I mean, they, there is uh, so many ways for me I actually communicate with people in a probably about two to three different ways. Maybe it be, you know, uh, Instagram DM or Facebook Messenger, you know, as communication or text or calling. And it's funny to say calling is almost like the last thing now in communication. And it's all just done uh, via, via word. And now that you mentioned word, the word actually and the, the, the news and everything that is communicated right now to people, uh, the world has become a little bit dangerous also. Do you think that influencers just like you do have some sort of um, a responsibility towards younger, or the younger audience to be aware of that? Yeah, I do. I think influencers do have a big responsibility to set an example and to, you know, also portray that social media and everything online isn't real life it's social media and it's only a glimpse of someone's life and i think um you know there is a responsibility to show and to and to say that because i think for the younger generation it's very easy especially if you're growing up just you know looking at everything online to know what's real and not real um is probably pretty difficult so i do think there's a responsibility of um you know adults there are people who have followings influencers or even that's the thing even as an adult um or you know i know a lot of people who influence people who may not have millions of followers that they have 
couple hundred followers, but those couple hundred followers are their friends in their inner circle are very much influenced by what you have to say. So I think now with social media, no matter who you are, you have to be, you want to always, as a person, set an example. We all have the ability to make a change, to change things, perspective for the good, of course. Um, about inspiration and inspiring others, uh, do you think that people are more related to sport these days than they were uh, 20 years ago due to technology? Yeah, I totally think people are more um, related and can relate more to sports now because of the following aspect. I feel like technology lets people, you know, I remember the radio was the thing, but now it's they can be group texting with their friends about the latest competition or um, about an event they want to go see and sharing their experiences online with their friends and then also being able to follow their favorite athletes and personalities private life which used to be very um, reserved for a lot of people and I think now it's kind of normal to put your life out there if you're an athlete or it's almost um, encouraged so people I think are really um, excited to be able to be like oh I get to see my favorite athlete on their Instagram or Facebook or YouTube page at home with their family like that's pretty rare so I think that definitely helps people um, be more connected in a personal way than before. And what about surfing these days? Um, what has changed over the years and what's the future of surfing? Yeah, surfing's changed a lot. It's now being regarded as a, you know, a real professional sport. It's always been a professional sport, but now that it's uh, going to be in the Olympics in two years, which is very exciting and a huge deal. Um, that's, you know, game changing and as well as, you know, the level of competition's gotten better and also the infrastructure um, with events and broadcasting and, and making it a way bigger, more professional sport, which is better for everyone. And just a quick comment on Web Summit. Um, yeah. How important this is. I think Web Summit's great. I think even though it's a tech convention, um, it is a tech conference, but it's really about bringing people together in a community sense and that have this shared passion and shared vision of dreams and linking up and almost um, collaborating with each other and sharing their ideas and, and views, which is really important nowadays because I think with tech in general, it can be very isolating, but it's funny because you come to a conference like this, it's, you don't see too many people on the phone. You see people interacting, which is really cool, um, or on their phone or computers. You do see people working, but um, yeah, I think it's very, uh, very cool.